I'm Gary Martin, one of the PGA pros Yo, from Huddersfield. Said hello. What do you mean? Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. I'm Gary Martin, one of the PGA pros from Huddersfield Golf Club. Just looking out for you, mate. And today we're back for Q and A with James Robinson. Hello. And I'll tell you what, guys. You've actually come up with some great questions this time. I can't fault you. I've got to apologise as well for because on my channel I thought we'd continue in the shaft questions, but we're not. So we'll carry on with that next week on my channel for anyone that's wanting that. There's some absolute belters, and uh, you know. I don't know if I'll be defriended after some of these questions, but that's fine, mate. That's fine. Also, you, you did say we we're going to go and sit on that bench and you're shall walking. We, is that shall way? we head that way? We'll go that way Let's yeah. go that way. Like, yeah, not? we've done the introduction. Right. Come on. Ah, how are you? I'm good, thanks. Yeah. <laughs> You've come up with some beautiful questions today. Um, as I say, some of them are a bit close to live, but we're going to ask that's them fine, anyway. Ask, ask away. Um, right. So, first question from Ro Rob Nevitt. Rob said, something to really put him in line. After doing the YouTube day and others similar, who would James say was the biggest arse he has had the pleasure of meeting, YouTuber-wise? I've had the pleasure of meeting. Oh, this is a beauty. That's, I can't you kicked off with that one. Um, <laughs> biggest arse I've had the pleasure of meeting. Probably Liam, to be fair. I, mean, I, love, I love Liam to bits, but he'll admit it as well. He's probably the biggest arse that you can come across. He's absolutely... Off the, off the Richter. That one was brutal, that one. You can tag him in that one as well, because he'll love that one. <laughs> right, we've got Mike Barron. Um, oh, Mike's were just a... I recognise Mike's name from the channel. Cheers, Mike. Gaz, you need some spinach, bud. I think that were in relation to when I couldn't alt camera last time. Yep. Um, question for James. Who would he most like to collab with on YouTube that he hasn't already done it with, done with? That is a great question. Um... Are we going golf related or non-golf related? Remember there's two channels now, I'm yeah, juggling things. Yeah, good point, good point. I would... I'll go both, and for me, golf related, um, there's a load that I've not, I mean, I've not really collabed with many people, it's not a channel that I have done, but probably the guys at GM Golf and Good Good Golf, I, um, what they're doing is fantastic, it suits a younger audience, it's fun, I love having fun, I love having a laugh. So probably them boys I've got, got an idea who you're going to do for off course. Go on. <laughs> TGE. Yeah, it would be actually. Yeah, yeah. So if you follow TGE TV with the cars and that, like really, really into that. And uh, nice guy as well, speak from a bit. So, yeah. Right, we've got, um, well, this one's, who? this is from David Bowie. David Bowie? Bowie. Is it Bowie? It can't be Bowie. <laughs> <laughs> who wears the pants, you or Laura? Keep in mind, I watch your off course channel. Well, he knows the answer then, doesn't he? Otherwise, that's the question. <laughs> Probably Laura. Um, I think most men would stay that stay the same. I think, although I do get away with a lot, like a lot, a lot. You know, yeah, like, she's like good. The, the car that I got on the second one, just didn't tell him. Just went and got it, and she was fine with it. Like, I think a lot of women would maybe be a bit more, yeah, uh, have a problem with that. So she does, but I, I know where the line is, and I think we yeah. do quite well with that. Maybe really. I think you just let her think that she wears pants. <laughs> you know that meme where he goes like that? <laughs> there were a comment from Andy, uh, I think it's Lineker it's spelled. It was just a funny one that he said, he said, I bet your arm weren't aching when you saw your wallet. <laughs> you your know, when I went to pick it yeah, up off floor. Yeah, yeah. It uh, was empty, like it always is. But. Yeah. Um, Stu Morgan. There's been a lot of questions from people, I think, probably looking to start YouTube or interested yeah. in that side of the channel. And okay, I love answering them, to be fair. Stu Morgan said, um, please ask James, at what point of making YouTube videos did it become financially worthwhile um, and making it your prim preliminary income? Is that right? Primary income. Primary income. For me, I mean, it depends what your expenses are and what, um, obviously, like your family situation and stuff. For me, when I started a couple of years ago, didn't have that much going out like I had a very small mortgage my car didn't cost a lot um, and I basically when so like, like Gary does now we work in the pro shop to, to make kind of a base income then you'd have your teaching on top of that as soon as I could get the YouTube income up to where the shop income was I, I took the gamble and I went for it yeah. I mean, it was the best thing I've ever done it might not work for some people um, but for me if you can start to see like if you can replace an income with an income that you absolutely love making then even if it wouldn't have, have gone more, which yeah. it is now luckily, I would have still rather done that, enjoyed that. And it gave me more time because obviously making YouTube videos, yeah, it's time consuming, but you can edit on an evening like when people are asleep, but you can't give golf lessons at one in the morning. So you, you free your time up a little bit more. And if you want to make it work, you can, you've just got to be, be persistent with it really. Another part he asked for us as well is, um, what's the best way to drive subscribers? 
how would you try to get new subscribers? Is just it consistent, decent content. Like I say that my content isn't as good as some of the content out there, but I feel like it's wholesome. I feel like it's honest and, and it's every day. So like there's literally there's people out there that know I am, but hate me because I'm there every day. Yeah. And it annoys people. So I understand that some people love the daily content. Some people hate it. I for one love making it. So for me, that's, that's what's probably done it. Good question. Good answer. Um, Paddy Mack, question to James. What do you think of Top Bloke and his criticism to Mark Crossfield? I thought, to be honest, I don't mind it. I think he's actually he's, he's gone down a bit in some of the things he says as well. I think he was probably hitting the line at some points. Got a bit personal with a lot of people. And then, like, he made a video actually the other day on my second channel and it was really funny like because he was basically picking up on things that i was doing wrong and it was it was funny it was good and i think he's he can be come across as quite funny and good content if it's not kind of going over that line well i watched that one and i were actually surprised because i think he's warming to you and I, I wouldn't i wouldn't say warming to me at all I, I don't, <laughs> um but yeah i think when it's good and it's funny yeah. i love i love stuff like that and i think yeah. it's great that we can you have to be able to if you take yourself too seriously in this game, you're never going to last. You're never going to do it. So I think it's good that people have a laugh with it, definitely. Good stuff. Uh, this one could spice things up. This one's a bit naughty from Jack, actually. <laughs> Jack, Barry, or Jack the lad. He's put, is Bella Angel the hottest golfer you've had on your channel? No. Foxy. Foxy! <laughs> no, obviously Laura. Laura. We're getting married, aren't we? So, yeah, Laura's... Uh, we're getting married for a reason. For so what it's so. worth, James, I agree with you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely not you, mate, I'll tell you that. <laughs> um, well, we've got Taff TV. Um, do you get more money from YouTube for more likes and more subscribers? No. No? Primarily, as far as I'm aware, I might be wrong, primarily views. Um, a lot of people probably don't realise that I'm not in the i mean i am it sounds ridiculous i'm not in the youtube business i'm in the golf business and i don't really understand a lot of the things i just see that what kind of works so consistent content that gets decent views generally works that makes a little bit more money and hopefully that i don't know i think that's that's how you do it and the final question from sam flood um i don't think you'll even remember this but i'm going to ask sam you flood. he said what's your worst comment you've ever received on a video uh, the audio was terrible. Yeah. <laughs> it's, you know what? It's almost, it gets to the point where I've, I've done over a thousand videos now across two channels. You don't remember the bad ones. I, I, if you did remember the bad ones, you'd quickly stop doing it. So I, yeah, I d probably is. You know, like when you've spent, like we've got these mics on today and these mics yeah. are like £600. And someone still the other day said, oh, audio's a bit windy. Well, we're outside, mate, on a golf course. Like, a lot of people don't understand it's not Hollywood. We're not... You invest to a point what you can in it, yeah. But then, if people still pick fault, that probably that. And it, you know what? It's the stuff that's true that needles you. Yeah. If someone says you're a fat moron, well, you know, it's partly true, but it's just a dig. If someone says your audio is a bit shit, there, you're like, yeah, it probably is actually. And yeah. it's, it's the true stuff that needles you. So yeah, but you cold, mate? I am a bit cold actually. Yeah, teeth are jangling at <laughs> what? <laughs> Um, no, I've really enjoyed asking them questions. I think the beauty about asking James questions is he will pretty much answer anything you ask. Yeah. You know, I, you know, I did say, you know, off camera, I did say, is there anything that I can't ask you? And you said, ask me whatever you want, guys. I, I think if you try to be too sheltered in, especially what I do, you leave yourself open to, to the, to the thick cat. <laughs> Here we <Yay>. go. <laughs> There's always one in there. I don't even know what that is. But... <laughs> Do you know what that is? No, I have no idea. I hope, I hope he bought a jumper. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll leave you to round out, guys. Thanks for coming, guys. And uh, if you've enjoyed that, check us out. Have a look at what other content I've got and, uh, and please subscribe. Bye. Bye.